Okay, here's a simple way to paint a kitty cat face. I'm going to use the standard Pro palette I use all the time. What's really cool is these pigments are wet and dry, so I'm going to use them all wet, and we're going to create a beautiful cat face. To complement this, you'll also need not only a Pro palette, but a white eye pencil, and maybe a little shimmer pot too, but you don't need a lot to get this look happening for you. We're going to start with a white pencil. We're going to just put it on top of a standard stage face, just like you saw Miss Hallie's junior face being applied not too long ago in the last podcast. So we're going to start here, and we're going to just begin bringing out any of the areas that a kitty cat is pronounced in. So, of course, a kitty cat is very pronounced on their forehead. They have kind of a, a diamond shape to their their facial features. So they're going to come down like this. We're going to bring it right down onto her little nose, down the center, bringing that forward. Also, kitty cats are very pronounced in this area. This area right here is very full on a kitty cat. So we'll want to bring it definitely around onto the little mound area above their lower lip. Really cover up that upper lip too, as kitties don't have an upper lip. Then you'll want to bring it right down, because another place that's highlighted for that very forward pronounced pointy triangular face is, of course, the chin area. Okay, so we've finished now with our white pencil. Again, it's brought the, for the face forward, working on the forehead down the bridge of the nose, around the rounds of the, of the little area around the mouth, pulling this area forward. And then I also applied the white pencil in the outer corners, we're elongating the eyes, and on the inner eye corner, where cats always have a little highlighting there. Next thing I'm going to do is take a black shade. And the black shade that comes into the palette is this one. And we're going to stir into the black shade, we're going to start doing some, some intensive lining now. And where we're going to line from here is we're really going to start bringing this out from the area, from the eyebrow. So we're going to bring it straight out, right out of the eyebrow, doing some stripes, alternating between the white shade. The cats always have this sort of area through here, too, that kind of comes up, out, out, alternating. Another spot that we're going to use this black very sparingly is just a little bit down along the sides of the nose to increase the narrowness of the nose. We're going to blend that out in a minute. Okay, now we're bringing the black down onto the end of the nose and we're going to really Make that little nose that kitty cats have on the end nice and black. Now, to get these very strong colors when using the black and the brown we're going to use next, and the peachy color, the terracotta, we're going to make sure to wet our brush so you can get a very pronounced dark color, especially nice rich black to show up on stage. So you really got to wet your brush to get it to show up. We're going to pronounce that little front that the kitties always have. That little, there's like a little V now that comes down. So we come down from the nose and then we branch it out. Kitties always have this cute little area down here as well. We don't want to see any upper lip. Kitties don't have upper lips. So actually kitties don't have any lips. So you don't want to show any lip in this. You want to make sure they're nice and black. Okay, with our wet brush using the black, we've lifted up some stripes. We painted the nose. We've got our little V coming down and our little chinny chin chin too. Now it's time to make Little cat whiskers. When you're on stage, you don't want to have actual whiskers pointing out. So what you're going to want to do is just make some little dot cat whiskers. That's all you need to get this look pulled together. Don't worry about gluing on whiskers. Just make little dots. 
And from a distance, they need to show up. So paint them a little bit bigger, not too tiny, or no one will see them up on the stage. All right, we're also going to use that wet black liner to create the eye lines. And cats have very unique lines. Close your eyes. So we're going to line across the whole lid. And then we're going to come up at the side like our eyes already do for stage. But we're going to bring them way out and open. Open your eyes, Hallie. And now we're going to run this same line. Look over at, at not your whole head, right there. Look at my shoulder, sweetie pie. Good job. Look at my shoulder. This is going to run right. Okay, so we've completed now the lining of the eyes. Again, the close your eyes, Holly. The line goes all the way across the lid, sweeping up, coming down, out beyond the inner eye towards the nose, and open. Open your eyes, Holly. White pencil in between. Lower line the same extension out, coming across and slightly down, creating a real cat eye with the white pencil in between. Now, all of that was done wet. I'm going to be using the brown shade in the palette. The brown shade in the palette that I'm going to also wet to create some brown stripes. And this is a great way to create dimension and make it look very much like a kitty cat has stripes. So we're going to go to the brown shade. And the same process now. Every other one is going to be a brown stripe now. Brown shade has now also contoured along the sides of the nose and created some pretty neat looking stripes along the side of the face as well. Next we're going to go to the orangey shade in the Pro Palette. Again creating lots of dimension, lots of stripes as you pull it out from every other one. Same striping concept. Lastly, cats have these very high cheekbones. I'm going to bring those out by using a little bit of my shimmer pot. And the shimmer pots are great because they really create that lift and bring out any area that you want to be pronounced. So I'm going to use this on Hallie's cheekbones as well. And under the stage lights, it was really going to make those cheekbones high. You can also use a little bit up on the forehead too, as kitties have a pronounced forehead. Maybe even a little down the center of the nose, too. And voila, you have the perfect cat face. Finishing it, we put a little bit of cat ears up on top, little ponies with the ends pulled through, make a cute little furry ear, and she's ready to prowl. I love my animal instinct costume from Algae. Arr!